Today we're going to do percentage and I'm going to teach you one method for three different types of percentage questions. So you can do percentage of amounts with it, you can do percentage increase, you can do percentage decrease with it, and also you can do reverse percentage with it. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here, helping you do better in maths by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise and going through maths revision on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload my next video. Now exams are coming up. Now I don't want to remind you of how many days are left uh, till the exams start because it could be quite intimidating and also it could be quite daunting for some people who haven't started revising yet. So if you're one of them, if you're not one of them, I'm not going to tell you the exam days. You probably know in the back of your head those dates. Okay, it's around about May, June. Let's keep you up to here. I'm not going to make it any worse for you. Well, anyway, today we're going to do percentage and I'm going to teach you one method for three different types of percentage questions. So you can do percentage of amounts with it, you can do percentage increase, you can do percentage decrease with it, and also you can do reverse percentage with it. So four different things, pretty much. Okay, so let's get my whiteboard and let's get started. Now, with this method, you probably already know about this method. For those people uh, maybe are uh, currently in primary or current seven eight year seven eight, you've probably seen this method quite regular. Um, so we call it the bar method. So you're going to use bars in order to solve all four different types of percentages. So let's start off with a very simple question. Let's say we want to find out uh, what twenty percent of five hundred is. So let's write down 20% of 500. Now, usually what would happen is you will find 10% by dividing by 10 and then multiply the answer by two. That will give you 20% of 500. Simple, I know. But our aim is to be able to answer more difficult questions on percentages. And this one method will answer well kind of all four types of percentage questions. So to start off with, what we need to do is draw a bar. Okay, now we'll start off with zero. Now this is zero percent and this is zero. Let's say you call it pounds. So that's zero pounds. So here we've got pounds, over here we've got percentages. Okay, now 20%. Now what's the 100%? Now if you write 100% here, now the 100% we know it is the full amount. So we're going to write down 500 there. Okay, now think about some percentages that you can find on this bar. So I'm going to point my um, whiteboard uh, somewhere on the bar and I want you to think about what would that percentage be and what would the amount possibly be. So let's say about here, so I'll draw a line here. So yes, halfway try to be as accurate as possible. So percentage wise, yes, 50% exactly. So that's 50% and half of 50%, well, half of the amount, 50% is 250. Okay, now I want to find 20%. Now, I know you can probably do in this in your head, you're probably thinking this is an easy question. But the thing is, it's not about the easy question, it's about knowing the method. That's why I chose an easy question so that you can relate. Well, you know, you know the answer, then you will see how the thing actually works, the method. Okay, so that's 50%. What other percentage can you work out? Or what other percentage do we need to find in order to get to, say, 20%? Let's say, we need to find, we can find, say, 20%, no, 20%, 10%. Let's say this is 10%. So write down the 10% here. So what do I need to do to 100 to get to 10%? Think about it. We need to divide it by 10. Yes, so we divided 100 by 10 to get to 10%. Therefore, we need to divide the 500 by 10 as well. So 500 divided by 10 is 
50. Okay, now can you think of a number? What do we need to do to 100% to get to 20%? So let's say 20% is our next percentage. You need to divide it by five. Yeah, five. So we need to divide this by five. So 500 divided by five is 100. Let's write it here. It's gonna be a bit mixed up here. So let's move 50 about here. So that's 100 pounds. Okay. Or what you can do, you can you double the 10% answer, find out the 20% answer, which is 100. Okay, now this was a really simple example. Now using this method, you can find out what, let's say uh, we said 20%, let's say 75%. Okay, now how would you find 75%? Now I'm gonna change this to 75% now. So we found 20%, let's say 75%. Try making it a bit more difficult. So half of, 100% is 50%, which is 250. We have 50%, we get 25%. So let's say that's 25%. Try to be as accurate as possible. So we're going to half this again. So half of 250 is 125. Now we've got 25% and we've got 50%, and we can clearly see on the diagram, the bar, you got 50 and 25 makes 75%. So we said we're gonna find 75%. So that's 75%. And that will give us 250 added to 125. If you're not sure, do the working. Pretty sure you can do this in your head. 375, so the answer is 375 pounds. If you want to find what 80% is, what do we do? So let's say 80% around about here, so 80%. And this will give us, so we know what 75% is. Can we find out what 5% is? Yes, let's do here, that's about 5%. Let's move this, so 5%, half of 10% is 5%. 10% is 50, so half 5% is gonna be 25. So 75 is 375. Uh, added to 5% to 75%, which gives us 80%, so we need to add these two numbers. So 7, 375 and 25 gives us 400. So using one method, you can find out so many different percentages of just one amount. Okay, now this video was about percentage of amounts and the next video I'm going to show you how to do percentage increase and decrease using the same method. And also the following video I'm going to do on reverse percentage. Now that's the interesting part. So make sure you keep following the percentage series videos and don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Now, that's it for today. Good luck with, rev with revisions and see you in the next video. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths. What's happening everybody, this is Mr. Mahmood here helping you do better in math by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise and going through math revision you two. Now let's try again. Let's try I've got this chair, so let's try. What's happening everybody? This is Mr. Mahmood helping you do better in math on YouTube. Try this one more time. I think this was was cool. Okay. What's up, everybody? This is Mr. Mahmood here, helping you do better in maths by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise and going through maths revision on YouTube. Helping you do better in maths by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise on YouTube. Now I don't like this lesson. Hello, I'm Mr. Mahmood, and this is my board pen, and this is my whiteboard. Today, we are going to learn maths. How to find percentage of amounts using bars. All right, let's try this again. What's up, everybody? This is Mr. Mahmood here, helping you do better in maths by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise and going through Master Vision on YouTube. Did you see it move? I think everything was moving, my table was moving. Let's try again. 
What's happening everybody, this is Mr. Mamoudi here, helping you do better in maths by giving you tips and tricks on how to revise and going through the maths vision. I think I need to change my intro, I think I'm a bit bored of it. Anyway, let's do it the normal way. Okay, let's get on with it now. Have you ever tried this? I think my head's spinning now. <laughs> 